Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Houston Fieldhouse for today's ECAC Hockey matchup. It's the Cornell Big Red taking on the engineers of RPI. I'm Perilous Garris alongside Dan Friggen. And again, I'm sprinting around everywhere already here, and uh, so I'm completely out of breath, so I'll let Dan talk for a little bit. <laughs> well, Cornell's coming off a 3 nothing win last night over at Union for their first league win. And uh, RPI coming off of a 4-3 overtime thriller loss to Colgate. And they're going to be looking to continue where they left off last night where they it was uh, pretty exciting pulling the goaltender getting the equalizer and going into overtime so we have the big red at two four and one on the season one three and one in ECAC hockey play RPI four nine and oh two five and oh in the league ready to drop the puck here it's Buckvik and uh, Dillianidis. And we got an early whistle here. And an offside. And I, when I say they want to start where they left yeah. off, I thought they had a pretty strong game. They just got to improve their play in their own end and through the neutral zone. They should be fine. Here's Tegan Dalby going cross ice with it. Finding Michaela Capel. Capel into the zone. It'll trickle on goal and be covered up there. First puck stopped by Lindsey Browning, grad student from Penfield, New York. A career 944 save percentage for in 54 games. There she is. RPI only has a couple of lineup changes. You got uh, Rihanna Jenke in for Kaiser. And uh, Alexander, new Alexander, is in for Weiss on defense. There's actually a, something uh, incorrect on the line chart. It's actually Weiss in the game, and uh, Zaherny's not in. Oh. Here's a, here's a backhand shot, and they score! Lauren Severson right on in front of the net, and it's 1 0 RPI, just 42 seconds in. Well, that's their first shot on goal when it goes in. That's always a great thing. Nice job getting that puck out in front of the net. Taking a shot that has been lost in the repertoire of players, and that's a backhander. Keeps it low to the ice. I think the goaltender was expected to get some elevation on that shot. And RPI... As it did last night, uh, takes an early lead, one nothing here in the first period. So a quick goal there for the Engineers. Now we have an icing call. Send the faceoff back down the other way. The goal for Severson is her first of the year, eighth of her career. That was a little too easy, Coach. Well, I think backhanders, it, it, it's tough to read the release point. It's tough to read where it's going to come off the stick, and I think that's what happened. It fooled the goaltender for Cornell. Face-off win for the Engineers. Tegan Dalby has it now. Out to center it goes. Turn back around by the Big Red. They move it in. Here's a quick shot and a save by Rampato on the try by Delianidis. Yeah, I think she tried to catch that, and it just got underneath her glove. McCutcheon trying to dig it out of there. And that'll be flipped back down. This is going to be icing here on the Engineers. And we're going to whistle 18-12. 18-11 on the clock here in the first. Cornell with a late lineup change here for the faceoff.
Puck back out to center ice. And engineer goes down there. That was Weiss. She's now back on her feet. Puck's in the corner. Alexander trying to body her way in there. Big Red come away with it to the point. Uh, fanning on the shot there. Is Messier. And it'll be cleared to center ice. That was Kapal getting her stick on the puck, preventing that shot from being taken. Now we got a penalty coming up here on the Engineers as they touch the puck up. And Cornell's going to go on the power play. It's going to be a body checking against RPI. It's going to go on Phillip. Nice save there from Lompato. And she holds on to that one for a faceoff. Perry will be back momentarily. Get it all figured out there, Pear. Uh, we're trying. 30 seconds to go in the Cornell power play. Buckvik going to clear this out to center. <laughs> Moving up the wall here for Shat. Drops it off there. Danielle, shot goes wide. Out of the box is Phillip. The engineers kill it off. They've been one of the strong points this year. Now there's a shot blocked on the try by uh, Daniela. Yeah, they do a great job on the penalty kill. Or Daniel, that's just a poorly placed assistant captain A on the <laughs> line sheet. Goodness. <laughs> Severson ahead for Janky. Just is he Daniel? <laughs> uh, he'll be dumped in by the engineers. Big Red trying to move it through center. Joachim shot is turned away. Backhanded back into the RPI zone. Rampato comes out to play it. Left behind there for Alexander. So far in the first five minutes here, RPI's been doing a better job of clearing the zone. 
Centering pass. Good tie up in front there. Nothing comes of that. McCutcheon will move it out for Jenke. Brianna Jenke into the zone. Feeds it across. That's broken up. Back come the Big Red with some speed now. Breakaway try is put wide by McSween. Looking for her first goal of the year. Leah McSween. Outlet pass, trying to find Taylor Walters. That's broken up. And she'll stick Kendall along the boards. This runs through everybody. Who wants the puck? It's Magdalena Erben Erbinova out of Mlada Bolslav, uh, Czech Republic. Now Mika Janke for RPI lifts it into the zone. It heads wide of the goal into the corner. Freshman defenseman for uh, Cornell. Got some good size, six feet. Chokolal. Now driving the net. There's a pad save on Delanitas. Back comes Cornell. Centering pass right in front of save made by Rampato going right to left across the crease. That's a good stop denying uh, Delianidis again. Delianidis, I don't think got everything she wanted on that shot. And that was due to the tight checking of the RPI defenseman here. Nice save by Rampato. Face-off, won by the Big Red. That'll leave, nope, stays in the zone. Good play there at the blue line by Alexa Davis. Severson throws it cross ice for Weiss, who shoots it in. This will be wrapped around. Jockham's down the middle, all the way to the slot before she's met by anyone. And that'll be Wagner forcing it out to center. Julia Blitz helped RPI at least get a point yesterday with her big power play goal late in that game. Yeah, it's on a terrific shot from the flank. She's got some good power on her shots. Tegan Dolby ahead off the stick of McCutcheon, who also scored yesterday. She's in deep with it now. This is going to be icing on Cornell if Dolby can win the race, and she does. 11.07 to go in the first period. 1-0 RPI leads and a goal by Lauren Severson, the grad student from Rockford, Illinois. She's the only grad student on the team. Yeah, Cornell has 10 first-year players on the team, including yeah. some of the sophomores. Dolby from the point, long shot, it was blocked by Davis. Back into the zone comes Cornell, they shoot it around. Oh, it's, it's the referee in the corner, refs today. Gosselin again, Will O'Malley. Linesmen are Mike Verminski and Matthew White. Now a pass thrown back to the line. It's going to be hop off the stick of Messier and up back to center. Daniel behind the goal. Throws it back to the point. Long shot hits a body. That one hit to Erbinova. And goes wide into the corner. Now another centering pass out in front and a save on Daniel. Point blank. Another good stop there. For Rampato. Well, both her and Delanitas were wide open in yeah. front of the net there. That can't keep happening if you're RPI. Well, I'll tell you what, RPI in the first 10 minutes, they fit the definition of efficiency. She's got, they've got one shot. There's another the one. Mika Jenke with a shot on goal. That's going to be held onto there by Browning. 
You don't see a lot of goaltender captains, but that's what Browning is. Of course, we do have one here at RPI on the men's side uh, with Lyndon Marshall, but he doesn't wear the C. Might be a goalie thing. Well, are we ready to go stoppage and play here? Are we going to get one? We should. Should be a media stoppage. <laughs> the Zamboni door opened up and everyone looks surprised, <laughs> but I think it is a media stoppage here. So we'll take a quick break. 9.47 to go first period. one nothing RPI. Quick shot off the face-off. That was blocked. Now Wagner. Back out towards center ice, and it'll be shot in by Daniel for Shet. Throws it back across the middle. Bouncing puck gathered up in the top of the zone. It'll be pushed to the side by Rudd. Or Rude, excuse me. There's a shot blocked. Blitz shooting it in. Fed into the RPI zone. Dalby. She gets pinned into the boards. They'll continue to scrap. This is where RPI has to do a better job than they did last night, winning those battles along the wall. Slap behind by Dalby. Taken back by McSween. Back to the point. Long shot. That one was blocked in front. Might have hit a teammate. Capel shoots it up the wall. Long shot here. Knocked down in front. Nice play by Erbinova, and now a race for the puck. McCutcheon trying to get there. But turned back the other way. Now Janky on the backhand, a save, and it's held onto there by Browning. That was Rihanna Janky. She picked up an assist yesterday. She has four, uh, four assists on the year now, seven points for the sophomore from Allen, Texas. Yeah, the older Matt, sister of Miki, Mika. Yeah. yeah, Maddie Peterson right on the doorstep looking yeah. for that rebound, but wasn't to be had. Another look at the shot. Face off one by the Big Red. Shot knocked down. Carried out by Cornell. Sent through the middle all the way to the other side. Peterson's got it there. And now Janky.
Alexander goes cross ice, but she hit Peterson with it. Cornell trying to turn it into something. Delaney is a long shot, and his glove saved. By Rampato, ready to reach up for that one. Looked like it was headed for that top corner, maybe a little high, but you always want to make sure. Yeah, I think it might have went a little wide on that, but well, I don't know. That's close. Yeah, it is. Got to remember, Rampato's not very big, so when she, even if she's, when she's reaching up like that, it might not be too far off the target. She had a terrific game last night. Based Rampato, on, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Based on the number of shots she saw. 45 saves yesterday for Rampato, a season high. Almost was enough. RPI did their best to come back in that one after having a couple leads. Ended up giving up the lead late, but they didn't give up. They had an extra attacker power play goal in the final 30 seconds of yesterday's game to tie it up. But they've continued to not have success in OT. They're 0-3 now in overtime on the year. But in the league this year, they get a point for that. So They say there, there are no moral victories, but there's a loose puck there after the shot was saved by Rampato on the she, try by uh, Jockums. Yeah, I think she lost a little bit in her belly pad, <clears throat> but was able to locate it and hold on. And offside whistle goes here. Shot down ice, and it's going to be icing here on Cornell with 4.53 to go in the first. Referees gave each other a second look. They weren't sure whether or not they were going to call that. It was close to the red line, but decided she didn't cross all the way for to negate the icing. Cornell trying to clear it out. And it's back out to Erbinova. Up off the wall and to center ice it goes. Knocked out of the air. Would have been a high stick if the engineers were the next to touch by Wagner, but Cornell carries it in. That was a shot blocked by sliding Wagner. Shot again, that deflects in for a goal. And it's one to one. Cornell gets the tip goal. And it looks like the first of the line is gonna be Jockums for the tally. Yeah, it looked like the puck uh, had a couple of deflections there before it went into the net. Take another look at it here. There's a shot, there's one deflection, there's two deflections. I'm not so sure if the Cornell player got that or whether it was off of an RPI defender. There's another look at it. And, uh, no, I think that was off an RPI defender. The initial shot was deflected by a Cornell player and then off an RPI defender, and it's tie game. Right back, they come into the zone. It's fed wide. by Peterson in the zone. He'll keep it alive for RPI. Pried away by Paige Kenyon, the junior from Ancaster, Ontario. Now knocked down at the RPI line. Cornell changing here as Taylor Larson picks it up for RPI. Back to 
Audrey McCutcheon. Her cross-ice pass is intercepted by Jockums. Picked up her second goal in the year moments ago. It was a shot and a save by Rampato. Another backhand try goes wide. Off the stick of McSween. And then that pass goes across. Janky got a stick on it, but couldn't keep it out, uh, tip it out of the zone. Larson now battling behind the goal. To the point, here's a shot and a save by Rampato on the try. By uh, Galladay. Cornell still on the attack here. Peterson picks that one up. And shoots it back all the way down. That was a simple play just to get the puck out of the zone. I'll have to use that more often. Behind the RPI net is Wagner. Good connection to center for Severson, although she kind of left it there for Blitz. And it's Erbinova to pick up the pieces and move it ahead. Centering pass off the skate of Wagner, and she put it wide. Another backhand try. Yeah, Wagner looking for the goal. And right back to her feet. A quick shot is blocked. Rebound, Dolby. Put it wide. Erbinova, Air, Severson looking down low for Blitz. This is a good shift from the engineers. They finally clear the center, Cornell does. Sent across. And the Big Red need to touch up because they're offside here. Allows RPI to clear it out. The near side broken up right in front of the RPI bench. It shot back in. Snap back into the corner. Alexander takes a look around before playing it behind the goal. Weiss chipping up the wall. Fanned on there. As it'll be moved ahead. All by herself in the zone was Hildner. And Meg Hildner picks it up. Sends it back to the point. Larson Arister, and that goes just wide. Good idea to had that been on net. Thirty-three seconds to go in the period. Larson sends it across. Shot by Price goes wide. And it's back out towards center. Actually, Cornell's gonna look to break out of their own end now. And now uh, arm is up. No, they're waving it off. The linesman disagreed there on w whether or not the Big Red were actually offside. Yeah, they were set. They said one, it was put One was in. saying on, one was saying arm up. <laughs> yeah, they said it was put in by the RPI player. Oh, okay. That'll do it for the period. 1-1 one, one the score. RPI getting the first one. The Big Red come back. And a deflection goal in front. Make it 1-1 one, one after one. Not a ton of flow to this first period, but uh, not a bad spot to be in if you're RPI. No question. Taking a first shot on goal and it going in. But still having a little bit of trouble getting through that neutral zone. I think if they win those battles along the wall to get that puck out into the neutral zone, get some forwards skating into it, they'll get some offensive flow and attack time in the zone. All right, we'll take a quick break. Be back with the second period. 1-1 one, one after 1 here, RPI and Cornell.
Dan, second period about to get underway. Five on five hockey as we get things going again. Lauren Severson, the goal scorer for RPI. Caitlin Jockums for Cornell. We are even at one apiece here. RPI looking to snap a five game losing streak in which really they've played well in, in a number of those games. They certainly have. They've been in all of them. And they fell to Quinnipiac last Saturday. There's a shot and a goal. Top of the circle. And I can't quite tell what it is because she's being surrounded. Maybe it's someone's first career goal, the way this is being celebrated, I have to imagine. That's very similar to the <laughs> tying goal last night for yeah, you're right, same Wiscott. spot. It is Messier's goal. First career goal, that's why it was being celebrated like a, a game winner almost. Good shot too, top left corner. Yeah. You're right, it's almost the exact uh, replica. Yeah, right shot from over there. As this is fed in front. Severson shoots it in. Cornell with a two to one lead now. Their first lead of the game. Severson trying to break this up. Takes a shot and a save. Rebound and it's still loose and is put into the net late by Severson. That thing was never frozen. No. But the whistle went, was clearly blown dead there. One off the skate, one off the goaltender's pad, and back out in front. Ricochet rabbit on a pinball machine. So Gilday with an assist and Frechette with an assist on the goal. Turning and shooting one saved by Rampato. She went sliding out of the crease to stop Frechette's try there. Faceoff coming up in the RPI end here. Big Red win the draw. Getting behind the net. And it's stolen away. Big Red won 64% of their draws in the first period. That's a substantial amount there. Now the back up to their own end, they give it away. Mika Jenke, a little bit of speed into the zone, takes a shot, rebound pops in the air, gloved into the net, and they're gonna wave this one off. <laughs> <laughs> Meg Hildner just swatted it in with her, with her hand, and that's certainly not legal, but it was a good idea, I guess. Counts a handball. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> <laughs> I give her an A for effort. Yeah. That's awesome. Look, she took her hand off her stick. Yeah. That, that is. If you keep your hand on your stick, there's a chance it hits your stick. Exactly. Or you keep your hand, yeah, keep your hand on your stick and then skate into the puck. It can't be deliberate. A whistle here. Offside on the engineers. Face off coming up at neutral ice. This goes behind the goal. We played along, given away off the bounce. Severson's shot was blocked. Severson goes wide with a second effort.
And now Severson back to her own zone. Erbinova down the middle. Severson off her stick. This is going to go out to center. Wagner's got to go backwards with it. Just thrown into the middle. Knocked away by Frechette. Back come the big red. Delianidis has shot that one off the glove over Rampato. Might have been going wide anyway. Back to the point. Janky trying to get on the end of this one, but it's out of her reach. Played by Kenyon. McCutcheon gets wrapped up there. RPI forwards are getting it into the zone with a little bit of puck possession, but they need uh, closer support for that second forward into the zone. Long shot goes wide from Alexander. Chopped off the boards to center. Taylor Walters. Janky. Lifted up and in deep. Race for the puck. Davis. And now Rude, Gabby Rude, sophomore from St. Cloud, Minnesota, works it back to the near side. Played by Hildner in deep. Browning leaves it aside for Song. This will move all the way behind the RPI goal. Go I ahead. I think Jockham's got her, her stick on that one. Oh, okay. I was going to say, yeah. To negate the icing. I have this big monitor in my way. I should stand up more and, and look over it. I'm missing part of the game. <laughs> a bit of his pass. It's intercepted by McSween, but carried on by Buckvick. Stick handling left and right. Takes a shot. Rebound save. Oh, a shot there by Phillip is blocked by Browning as well. Naya Phillip with a bid for her first career goal. Came close there. That was a real nice play. by the forward Capel. Bouncing puck at center, two on one chance. Phillip, or excuse me, Wagner walking in. Wagner a save, rebound, another stop there on Severson. And the engineer's offense has come alive here after going down by a goal. Nice job, give and go back and forth, forcing the defenseman to commit. Shot, rebound. That just about went five hole on the goaltender. Good bid by Severson. Couple of shots in succession there for RPI. This is fed around behind. Back to the point, kept in by Wagner. Could have been interference there on Alexander, and they're going to call it, I think. Yeah, there. <laughs> After yesterday, I'm not sure if it ha they had it in their <laughs> in their vocabulary. In the it wasn't in might have been ripped out of the yearbook of the refs yesterday. Interference, but they get Alexander here. There's another look at it. Yep. Interference. Cornell back on the power play. Oh, nice save. Nice save from Mampato on the one-timer from the flank on the power play here.
for Shat. And it blocked. And RPI clears out to center ice. Well, when this is the strength of your game, you're not too concerned about taking penalties. And yeah, I mean, you should be, I guess, still, but right. It's yeah. When you're only giving up close to nothing, it makes it a little bit easier, at least, when you have that kind of confidence in the situation. Yeah. Of course, they give one up early in the second period here. True. Second power play chance for the Big Red here. Shots are 19-13 Cornell. They lead 2-1. to one. McSween at the point. And roughed up there by Phillip. Trying to find the puck now. It's underneath. Bodies now they're scrapping away along the half board. Well, take the time off the clock. Yeah, our guys okay with this. 15 seconds to go now on the power play. And in past years, we'd probably get a whistle by now, but they're, <laughs> they're just letting them <laughs> scrap for it. All right, finally the puck comes free. Shot comes in, sticked away by Rampato as the penalty expires. So uh, a good 25 seconds were cut, uh, cut down there with the puck just pinned against the boards. It's okay from a kill perspective, but hopefully RPI is not going to need those seconds later on <laughs> in the game. Yeah, I mean, try to tie this up. There's, there's plenty of seconds left as far as that's concerned. Bouncing puck at center, moved ahead by Severson, trying to find Blitz. Severson comes away with it, sends it across. Wagner a shot. Oh, what a save by Browning. Denying Mara Wagner of a goal. She came across there real quick for that one-timer. Square, state square to the puck. Daniel ahead. Good connection to Zingas. Blitz makes a move, fires it wide. Ellie Kaiser into the corner trying to create some action there, but it's cleared out. Erbinova, or excuse me, uh, that's Mika Janke to center. Delianidis will shoot it in. Pass around Pato all the way around. Daniel for Shet. Back to Daniel now. Delianidis. Nice move there to get loose. To the point, long shot. That went wide off the stick of Gilday. And now it's going to be Rory Gilday back with it. Freshman from Chanhassen, Minnesota. Solid Minnesotan contingent on this team, Coach. That's what I like to see. <laughs> I any, noticed uh, that. Of any hockey team, in my opinion. Engineers only have one. It's Maddie Peterson, who's from Princeton, Minnesota. She's on the ice right now, in fact. I don't think there's been a year. We got a penalty coming up here in Cornell, I think. I missed it. It's going to be a slash, and it's an offensive zone call. It's going to send RPI in the power play for the first time. There's another look at it, a slash. Yes, former goaltender Dan Delanitas has a daughter out here, class of 86 at Colgate. His daughter is Lily Delanitas, center for Cornell University here. Cornell penalty on number 11, Jules Bruchette. So a power play for RPI on the season, 14.7%. As they get it deep here. They were one for three yesterday with a big power play goal. There's a penalty coming up again. It's going to be a body check on Gilday. Or Gilday. So 
It'll be five on three. There's another look at it right here. Gets the leg into the leg for the trip. And RPI is going to be going on the two-man advantage for a minute and 31 seconds. Five on three chance here for RPI. And Cornell with a big clearance there to get this power play started. So five on three for the minute 16. RPI trying to pull even. Severson sends it across. Here's Blitz. Down low. Blitz. Return feed there from Wagner leaves the zone. Unforced error. Yeah. Taking precious time off the clock here for Cornell. Now into the zone, Erbinova pulls up. Top of the zone, quick shot, that's blocked. It hits the top of the net. Oh my goodness, no one knew where the puck was. Browning had no idea. There's a quick shot and a save by Wagner. Passing critical on a power play. You got to put it on the tape. Taking away precious time if you have to go for your back end of the forehand. Janky. Blitz. They're trying to get Blitz for a one time. We're looking for the tip from Wagner. That doesn't go. Tap back to the line and out to center. Cornell with a chance to change its penalty killers here. Nine to go on the five on three, which is about to expire. Now Kaiser with a dangerous move at her own blue line and the whistle for offside goes. So just 28 seconds left of power play time here for RPI. They got a couple of good looks, but the unforced errors were the kind of glaring issue there. Just missed passes in the offensive zone that Cornell didn't get their stick on. Yeah, and you know, RPI is making a pass to a right shot and putting it in front of her and she's got to take it on her backhand and then go back to the forehand. That takes precious time off the clock when you're on a power play. This is shot off the glass to center. All the way down it goes. Just little things. Broken up by Kaiser. Eight to go on the power play. Still Kaiser on the move. Ellie Kaiser, she scored a goal yesterday for RPI, her third of the year. Back to the point. Penalty is over. Long <laughs> shot. That goes wide. And now here's Meg Hildner. Nice job to shield the puck there by Hildner. And she goes down and not a lot of support up with her. Now this is going to hop into the bench. Now we get Peterson gets a little bit of a whack there from uh, Gilday after the whistle. 6.46 to go. We got a ice clearing stoppage here with 6.46 to go in the second. Two to one Cornell leads. So you're going to tell me about the football game? Oh, <laughs> I was. RPI with, I've been here for a while, and I, you, you say you see something new every day, and RPI was one of the most thrilling, not only football games, but Dutchman Shoes games ever. Uh, they were losing the whole game. They, it was, they were down, they needed a touchdown at the end of regulation to, to try and tie it. They get the touchdown to make it 16 to 17, they're down, they're down 17 to uh, 10. They get the touchdown with about 30 seconds left. It would have been the tying score if they were to kick the extra point, but RPI decides to go for two to win it with 30 seconds left. They throw a pass over the middle, incomplete. So they're down by a point. They need, now they need the onside kick, right, with 30 seconds left. No. They recover the onside kick. No, they man. run two short, uh, short dump off uh, passing plays to the running back. I think one pass over the middle. They. Marinopoulos, the quarterback, spikes the ball with four seconds left, and their kicker, who was on the soccer team as of Sunday, due to injury to their starting kicker, uh, Trevor Bisson, hits, I think it was a 30, maybe 30 some yard field goal to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> 19 to 17, as the clock expired, they win the Dutchman shoes, and they're going to the NCAA tournament. One of the most, that was the most, <laughs> most thrilling endings to a football game ever that you're ever going to see. And the engineers go to 9-1. They're going to the NCAA tournament. 
tremendous work by this group. You know, they haven't had fans all year, as we've seen here. It was an amazing crowd. I was over there for the first half. As, now we've got to get back to hockey. Here's a save by Rampato. I was over there taking pictures for the first half of the game. It was an, it was an amazing scene. And I'm <laughs> watching. I wish I was kind of, no offense to hockey, but I kind of wish I was still there. <laughs> <laughs> But we got work to do here. RPI down by a goal. Taylor Larson back to pick it up. Even in the, it, was, it was raining, about 50 degrees. They had the lights on because it was so dark because of the clouds. And uh, RPI just stuck with their game plan the whole time. They were still running the ball when they were down. And picking up four or five yards of carry. Just the, There's so many parts of that game. We can go on forever. Anyway, we got uh, 5.38 to go here. RPI men are in action tonight at Cornell. It's always a fun barn there, line of rink. Here's for Shat dropping it off. Shot comes in, and that goes wide, just missing the far post. I think that was rude. Here's Price now for RPI. Hannah Price, Jr. Good connection to center. This is Severson. Has Blitz going to the net. Severson tries to make a move for Blitz, and it's knocked off her stick. I'm not sure if that move was intended for herself or for Blitz, but Blitz went to the net with it. Now Sears and trying to work it back to the point for Weiss, and that's broken up. Nice move here. McSween working her way all the way to the slot, and somehow got that shot away. There was engineers draped all over the whole way. Now Kaiser back the other way dumps it in. Yeah, McSween's pretty crafty with the puck. Yeah, yeah. I look at the stats. She only has one, one assist on the year. They only they've only played uh, five, six games. Good poke check here. Shot blocked on the try there by Samantha Burke. Bouncing puck in the zone. Turned around by Burke. Has some room. Takes a shot. Looking for the deflection. Didn't get it. As it was Kane cutting to the net. She was all alone right in front. Buckvik, stick handling. Buckvik fires it wide and chases after it herself. Sarah Buckvik back to the blue line. A bit of a shot was blocked. Buckvik a try right on and a save by Browning and she'll cover up. Five thir uh, 3.53 to go, excuse me, in the second RPI. Trying to pull even here with Cornell. They're down by a goal. Jeez. Goaltender Browning was right at the top of the blue paint there, square to the puck, and got it right in the bread basket. Held on for faceoff. RPI wins the draw. Dolby sends it up the boards. This is Blitz. Fanned on the shot. Turned around by Cornell. Into the skates of Delianitas, but he does a nice job to just keep it going. Severson. Lost an edge and kind of got tapped on the skate there, but officials say not enough for a penalty. Now it'll be moved down ice and no icing here. Moved up the wall, kept in by Price. Santa Price, backhand shot, flip wide. Gilday flips it around. Now Rude. Hand it off there. This is thrown down the middle, cut off by Price. Head for Severson, touch pass there for Peterson. Maddie Peterson dumps it in. Fed around for Jockums. She has the first Cornell goal tonight. Blaney Weiss for RPI. Cross ice feed, nice gather there by Janky, although it kind of hops away. She'll go track it down and get it deep. McCutcheon trying to find it, as is Peterson, lifted up the boards, but not out. Delaney Weiss fakes a shot, walks her way in, and shoots it wide along the ice. McCutcheon, nice find. Weiss, slap shot coming, glove save. Browning, and we get a whistle. I think she has it in her glove. A couple of teammates crashing the net there with her, along with Peterson. 2.16 to go on the clock. This is... You know, more crisp breakouts from RPI that look like a look like a real hockey team right here. Yeah, take a look at here. They they need to get somebody in front of the goaltender. They got three of them off to the side. 
take the eyes away of the goaltender so she can't see that, maybe get a deflection. But yeah, they've been breaking out real well, coming through the neutral zone fine. Tie up on the dot. And Cornell just moving up the wall, back into RPI territory, bringing on the pressure. Pair of big red. Move into the RPI zone. Severson navigating the neutral zone. Hands it off. Trying to send it back in front. And it'll be cleared out. Delianidis uh, shoots it wide, and Cornell wants to change. Larson for RPI. Taylor Larson to up the right side, trying to find uh, Phillip, who gets dumped there at the blue line. Now, Wagner tried to make a move, and had it stripped away. Daniel now for the big red, off a skate. Sent back to the blue line. Shot comes in. That goes wide by Song. Coming up on a minute to go in the second. Capel strips the puck away there from Frechette. Flipped into the zone by Daniel. Now Price. Capel trying to lift it up the wall. That's broken up. Daniel. Sends it back to the point. Gilday shot tipped over the top into the netting. I might have got the stick of McSween there. And we get a stoppage in play with 41.8 to go in the second. That was definitely a tip by McSween. Good uh, hand-eye coordination on her part. Face off to the left of Rompato. Trying to throw it in front. Malcolm shot. There's a pad save. And the try by Gilday, and then we have a puck out of play. Jockham just missed that one. Yeah. Tipped in the first goal of the game and looking for another redirection here. The new puck. Right off the draw, shot goes wide from Rude. RPI, one more rush here maybe in this second period. Capel into the zone. Touched by Phillip. And now out to neutral ice where Erbinova picks it up. Peterson chops it off the boards. And in with two, and that'll do it for period number two. Shots are 22-17 Cornell as we are through 40 minutes here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Both teams 0 for 2 on the power play. Well, other than that first, well, power play goal by Cornell early in the period, I thought it was a pretty solid period by uh, RPI. When you look back at uh, Rampato and how she's been playing, I think from last night to today, the six goals that have been scored on her, 50% yeah. of them have been by tips. Yeah, that's when you get real solid goaltending, the best, the only way to beat them is by you know a quick change of direction of the puck because they're going to, they're seeing everything and yep. she's moving her feet and uh, getting in good position. Definitely. All right, that'll do it for us here after two. It's Cornell two, RPI one. You're watching RPI hockey and RPI TV on ESPN.
right, third period about to get underway here. RPI and Cornell. Five scares aside to begin the final frame. Although there could be one more. The engineers did go to overtime yesterday. Against Colgate, number five in the country. There, Beneva behind, finding Dalby. Now Buckvick trying to connect with Capel. That's broken up. Blitz. There, Beneva. Jockums lost it. And now the engineers skate at the center ice. Blitz a shot and a save. And now back to the point. Larson's shot was blocked by a shin pad. Coach, what do the engineers need to do here to try and tie this thing up? Get some shots on goal. They've come out here with a little sense of urgency. They need to continue that for the full 20 minutes. Continue to put four checking pressure, play in the offensive zone, get some shots. This goes through everybody. Delaney Weiss picks it up. Senior out of Illinois dumps it in. McCutcheon. Fed all the way back through everybody. Dolby couldn't reach it. Trickling back towards the RPI net. And Weiss will play. Left in the corner for Tegan Dolby. Back to Weiss. Weiss flips it through the middle. Not a bad idea if it was able to connect with Janky. They wave off the icing here. Janky taps it around one. Big red, and then hands it off to McCutcheon. Shot was blocked by a skate, and it'll be skated behind. And out of danger. Yeah, unfortunately, McCutcheon didn't get a lot of, on that. She was hampered by one of the Cornell defenders tying up her stick. This will be shot deep. This is going to be icing here on RPI. Looked like Taylor Waters might have got a stick on it. Of course, she was so close to the boards. Tough to tell from up here. Here's the draw in the RPI end. Stolen away at the top of the zone. One-timer partially fanned on by Frechette. It was a good idea to work the puck across the ice there. Trying to get Rampato's feet moving there. Fed down low. Back to neutral ice. Paige Kenyon. Lifted off the boards and Taylor Walters can't find it. For Shet. Doesn't see any pressure, just turns and dumps it in. Cornell almost got caught there with two yeah, was, players on the ice. Puck kept uh, <laughs> cycling in front of their own bench, and you wonder who that was going to hit next. Bouncing pucks, trying to center it. Phillip just gives it away. Shot goes wide. It was a really good pass by Phillip if she was on the big red there. Shot is hammered wide. From the point. Four minutes gone, third period. Engineers haven't been able to get out of their own end. Well, they will now. Phillip trying to pick up speed. She has some ice in front of her. Phillip all the way to the net, and it was poked away. Good reach by Gilday. To the point, not out. Slap shot coming. Save made on the pad by Browning. Nice shot on goal there. They need more of those. Get some players in front of the net for a screen. 
or a tip. Chokowal clears it out. And now Wagner for RPI. Carrying it up the wall. Severson, a little handoff. Shot towards the net, but it's broken up by Song, Athena Song. And now moved out by Burke. This will be icing on Cornell, so they'll need to So I was just thinking, other than the RPI at Cornell game, right? this game, if a fan were to yell, let's go red, yep. it could apply to both teams. Yeah, I think that's uh, – I think some people maybe get their undergrad one place and their graduate another place. They can just – that's all they have to do. Yeah. Who, I'm, not, I'm not sure who they root for. I, I would hope it would be their undergraduate school, unless it was RPI. I just root for RPI, I guess, would be my point. Then we got to stop it here. Time out. Yeah. Timeout for Cornell. Looks like uh, Coach Darrow just wants to regroup here, talk to his team. Also an assistant coach for Hockey Canada for the upcoming games. There's a look at the RPI bench. Coach Vines having a little discussion. Or they're going to be keying on puck possession and offensive opportunities. They've been doing a great job the first five minutes of this period. My mistake, I thought that first goal to begin the second period by Cornell was nope. a power play. Goal right, right, right. No, we had that squared away. Yeah, even strength. Trevor Bisson, I, this picture I took earlier. I don't know, it makes for great audio, but uh, <laughs> anyway, Trevor Bisson, the, uh, the kicker for RPI, who started kicking again for the RPI football team on Monday, I guess for the first time. He was an All-American defense uh, center back for the men's soccer team. <laughs> football needed a kicker. They went to football. They went to soccer. They went to Coach Adam Clinton. They said, who do you think would be a good kicker? And actually, Bisson did kick in high school down in Louisiana. He's in Baton Rouge. You been down there, Coach? No, I have not. I've been to New Orleans on a high school band trip, which is probably the, the nerdiest possible scenario for someone to go down to New Orleans. But we did. It was still fun. We were still fun stuff to do. Now I've swam in that body of water <laughs> yeah. from the Siesta okay. Key, Naples, Florida. Oh, yeah. Yep. The and coast, the golf, the golf. Yep. yeah. There's a quick shot there. Uh, Gilday wraparound try turned away by Rampato. And out to center, no, kept in. Good play at the line by Song. RPI trying to work it out here. Severson lifted along. Janky can't knock it out of the air. Cornell spins it back in. Jockums stopped by Rampato. And a bit of a slash there from Larson to keep <laughs> uh, to, to keep Rude there from getting the puck. And now RPI breaks into the zone three on two. It's going to be a penalty coming up here. It's going to be interference, I have to guess. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just a disadvantage in size. You yeah. Have, uh, Peterson is 5'5". Five, five, and you've got uh, Tokalal, who's six feet. She's trying to skate down the wall and... Gets closed off. And we've got RPI going to the power play here. So it will be the power play for the and the, the oh, la, la, power play for the engineers the third of the game. Cholkowal going off here on the interference. So an opportunity for the engineers to try and tie things up, and it's immediately cleared, however, by the big red. This is be gloved down at the blue line. Fed across, some space now for Blitz to walk in. Wrist shot coming, she scores again! 
Oh my goodness, Julia Blitz just under the bar and we're tied at two. Well, she's got that shot down, Pat. <laughs> I mean, look at how wide she comes to the middle of the ice, takes the shot. She's going top shelf. You've got a great screen in front of the net. The goaltender can't see it, so she's automatically going down to the butterfly. See, she looks around and it goes over her right shoulder. She looks to the right of the RPI player in front of her and puck goes top shelf on the left. Great shot. You know what? I, yeah. I, she has got an unbelievable release as far as uh, she doesn't wind up at all. She just snaps it off. And uh, Julia Blitz has an unbelievable shot. So the goal for Blitz is her second of the weekend and fourth of the year. Uh, fourth of the year. Second game tying goal. Right. I mean, she only scores big goals. She had the big go ahead goal against BU, if you remember, a couple weeks ago. Again on the power play. I mean, it, it, it's kind of defying the odds because you're a right hand shot. Yeah. You're taking the puck and, and taking it from that angle. Right. Usually you'd want a left shot taking it from over there based on right. the puck being more towards the middle of the ice and uh, yeah. towards the net. You're right. Plus it's easier to take one-timers obviously from the other side. You can't take a one-timer on your offhand over there. No, but she gets that away real quick. Yeah. And, I mean, the goaltenders can't see it. This is fed all the way through. Now trying to turn with it is Daniel. Quick shot and a save by Rampato on the pad. She's quick. She's got quick feet, Rampato. Tapped along by Peterson. Daniel. Broken up by Peterson. Kicked at by Janky. Thrown ahead to McCutcheon, but that's in her skates. And the Big Red take over. Nice move to get free. Daniel centering pass with a couple engineers there. Lifted along, and it finally sticked away. That was Zingas trying to chip it in. Janky can't be looking to make a play there in the... That great A area, she's got to get that puck to the wall. Now picked away, two on one down low, fed across the crease and good stick tie up there by Erbinova. Puck back out to neutral, tracked down by Davis. Shots are 28-20 in favor of Cornell. They wave off the icing here. Severson, good connection here from Blitz. And then Severson lost the handle, tries to battle to win it back. It's in her skates and chipped back to neutral ice. Now Delaney Weiss feeds it across for MJ Alexander. On a Deerfield, Illinois, is Alexander back in the lineup tonight. After sitting yesterday with Taylor Zaherney joining the defensive core in yesterday's game. Here is Weiss. Up the wall for Blitz, and now Severson. And Wagner had to touch up, so RPI goes to dump it in. Blitz will and get a change. Now it's going to be iced by Cornell. <laughs> Stoppage in play, 9.38 to go. No, no band here today, Coach, because they're at the football game. You can't I, I figured that. Yeah. A lot of times they'll split up, but they must not have enough. They must not have had enough people to, to put together a, a band that was suitable to play an entire hockey game. So I, you have to understand that uh, there's only one Dutchman Shoes game a year. I'm sure, that takes precedence. Probably over any hockey game, I have to imagine. Bouncing punk, cleared towards the wall. Tap to the corner by Frischat. She'll take a look. Throw it back to the point. And now Delianidis. Carried on further. Centering pass. Turning and shooting a pad saved by Rampato. As 
Looks like this top line for Cornell They've kind of had their way for most of this game. It's a quick shot to flex to the half boards. When you have talent like that, you just could try to contain it, right, Coach? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> had she shot that puck sooner, yeah. Rampato was not even close to being over there. And then yeah. as she delayed a little bit, she caught it with her pad. Dalby. Ahead for Phillip. I have Phillip. Nice move. Penalty coming up here. It's going to be a trip. And RPI is going back on the power play. It's going to be a slash. With 8.16 to go in the third, RPI with a chance to try and score another power play goal. They're one for three so far today. So question for you. What was RPI's uh, final record? Sorry, sorry, what, Coach. What was the RPI football final record? Not well. They're going to play in the NCAA tournament now because they won that game. They won the re they won the regular season title for the Liberty League with that win. Oh, they did. Okay. They, they're nine so, and one. Okay, and and Union. Union was also eight. They're both eight and one. It was a huge game. Okay, so they were both. So Union's lost two now. That's, They've lost two. All right. So that's Ithaca. Why. This all is the other factor. Ithaca was tied with RPI, and they're they're still tied. They they, they go as in a, a shared title of the of the league championship. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But RPI beat Ithaca head to head, so RPI gets uh -huh. the automatic bid to the NCAA gotcha. tournament. Yep. So they're both went five and one in the Liberty League, but RPI beat Ithaca. That was their only loss, and Ithaca's only loss, I believe, was to Hobart. Anyway, there's a lot of teams at the top of the league. You got yep. Union, you got Hobart, Ithaca, yep. uh, that were all vying for the championship in the final couple weeks. RPI beat Ithaca at home. They went to St. Lawrence and won in double overtime last weekend to keep their hopes alive. RPI did 22-20, and they won by two today over in Schenectady uh, to win the Dutchman's Shoes. Importantly, because they had lost two in a row, and they got blown right. out, I guess, three years ago, two Dutchman's Shoes ago. There yep. was no Dutchman's Shoes trophy game last year. Right. For the first time since 1945 in World War II. Right. It was the last time it didn't play a Dutchman Shoes game. It was the coronavirus right. in 2020. And safe to say that uh, tomorrow is the uh, selection committee and they'll yes, find tomorrow, out where they go? Yes, exactly. You find out where you're going if you're playing at home and all that. But the RPI was prepared to play in an ECAC game if they didn't win today, an ECAC bowl game, which could have been also at home. And they had a pretty strong case. As uh, now RPI looks to move in here. Eight minutes to go in regulation in a 2-2 game. Their fourth power play chance. As Wagner has to wait for Peterson and doesn't. or for Severs and doesn't wait. Yeah, should have waited. I guess maybe didn't see her. Erbinova, oh, fan on the pass, but Burke wasn't moving it either, so couldn't jump on that. Blitz flips it deep. See if the engineers can set something up here in the power play. Nice keep at the line by Urbinova. Severson, high slot. Fakes a shot. Tried to find Wagner with it and threw it right past her. Now a clearing effort comes to Severson. Tap it back to the line. Urbinova can't keep it in. She's got to shoot that puck. She's this right has, the yeah. slot. I think Wagner was expecting a shot. <laughs> the way she reacted to the, the pass. Wagner, Half, yeah, yeah, Wagner would should go to the net with that shot being taken. You're right in the slot area. you got a yep. high percentage odds of. Here is Mara Wagner. She gets tied up. Scoring. And it's cleared again. No, oh, that one right through the stick of Rampato. <laughs> Luckily, she was not in front of her own net. That could have been a disaster. Now Kaiser will skate to the head with some room. Into the corner now. 27 to go in the power play. Kaiser goes down, feet first into the boards. Capel trying to dig for it. 20 to go in the power play. And much like the power play that RPI had, or that, that Cornell had earlier, Cornell is just happy to tie the puck up in the corner. I was just thinking about that RPI strategy used by Cornell. Two to go on the power play. Shot blocked here from Kaiser. And now an odd man rush here for the Big Red. Shot blocked by Larson into the netting on the try by Frechette. And we're back to even, and we have 6.07 left in a 2-2 game. Nice job by Larson to get her stick in the shooting lane there and deflect that puck up into the netting.
Now a RPI breaks the center two on two. Phillip has it poked off her stick just across the line. Back comes McSween. She'll dump it in. That one thrown all the way through. Broken up by Price. Another pass thrown in front. Now Phillip with five and a half to go. Phillip all the way to the net. Gets knocked off the play. And again, Phillip showing that speed. Yeah, that's the second time she's tried to cut in and yeah. get an angle on the net and just been taken out body-wise. No, no one wants to go get the puck here. The engineers do. Wagner had it just knocked away. And that was a borderline body checking call there as Phillip went to the net. Now a shot right on and a save from Pato. No rebound there. There's a good look at Lily Delanitas from Medina, Minnesota. Your backyard? Yeah. From the Burbs. That's what the city folks say. There's a shot and a save on the left pad on Delianitas, who's been robbed a couple of times tonight, and now this is going to be covered up. Well, Doug Dare and I are from the same hometown, and oh, yeah? we're known as the Valley Boys. Okay. Ottawa Valley. Ottawa Valley, okay. I can see that. You got a river valley there? The town of two beautiful rivers, the Ottawa River and the Madawaska. And they flow into each other. And the Ottawa River separates Ontario and Quebec. Oh, okay. Makes a lot more sense. Capel. Larson. And now Hannah Price. She'll cross the red line and dump it in. Larson, a long shot that gets blocked by Rude. Now McSween. I think that's her. Jersey's kind of tucked into her pants. I can't quite tell. Intercepted by Frechette. Larson for RPI. Tipped into the goal! Delianidis with a tremendous redirection in front of Rampato, and it's 3-2 Cornell with four minutes left. Oh, she just had her stick in the right place at the right time, and it looks like she was aiming for it. There it is, yeah. just a little tip. I, you know what? That went right between her legs. That's crazy. Dad must have taught her that as a goaltender. <laughs> Again, it's another tip in front of Rampato. It's the only way that she's been beaten. Yeah. We talked about it. Yep. So the engineers find themselves in a similar situation to yesterday, down by a goal late. Delianidis dumps it in. That the goal for Delianidis is her fourth of the year, but she could have. As many as three goals today, if not for Rampato. Making some very nice saves. There's a collision at center ice. Severson looks to be okay. She was the one who went down. Stick handling into the zone was Gilday, and now it's fed back in to the RPI end of the ice. And, of course, now Coach Vines is thinking, okay, when will I be calling Rampato to put an extra attacker on the ice? Shot comes in from Hildner that's blocked. And there's a collision there along the wall. As Zingas went down, but she's back up on her feet. Alexander at the point. Long shot. Deflects just wide. Kaiser trying to get a tip on it. 
That was close. Nice redirect. Got some good power in that shot, did Alexander. Another stall tactic. Here's Weiss, top of the zone. Shot comes in, that's blocked as well. Now to the bench for RPI goes Rampato, and that one trickles just wide. Now Alexander shoots it across. Shot blocked. And shot down. This is going to be icing here on RPI. I'll put the Minute 15 to go. Back to the point. Here's a shot saved by Rampato. Fed all the way through. One minute left. RPI trying to get the puck back so they can get Rampato back off the ice. And the girls that he would want out yeah. for the last minute with the goaltender pulled have been caught out into the yeah, defensive zone. Blitz being one of them. Yeah. Weiss trying to clear this out for Hildner. Rampato starts off, and then she'll head back. 26 to go. Erbinova. Jockums. Rude. She's knocked down, 15 to go. And maybe one more rush here for RPI if they have the legs for it, but they're pretty tired out there. McCutcheon with six seconds. They'll finally get Rampato off, but that's going to do it as the puck's in the corner. And Cornell's going to hold on for the win today. 3-2 the final. Well played game again, coach, and the engineers lose by a single goal again. I'm sure there's a little bit of frustration there, but the like Coach Vines always talks about the process still coming along here for RPI. Well, they're real close, you know, and it's it's just little things that, you know, again, late in the game, uh, they give up a goal, and it's preventable. You know, you just have to make sure you're checking sticks in front of the net. This has nothing to do with skill or ability. It's just basically, you know, making sure that you're cutting off passing lanes and uh, real aware in their own zone. Try to get that puck and play more in the offensive zone when you're Tied or behind. Well, RPI falls again by a single goal, this time in regulation to Cornell. That'll do it for our RPI TV crew. That was Dan Fridge and I'm Perry Lascaris. We thank you for watching today's game. Once again, your final score from the Houston Fieldhouse was Cornell 3 and RPI 2. This is an RPI hockey on RPI TV and ESPN. <laughs>